What's up guys, today we've got 2021 Bowman Chrome. It's a brand new release, just came out today. There's a bunch of different formats. We're gonna open up a hobby box and we're gonna talk about some of the prospects. If you're ready, then I'm ready. Let's go. All right guys, so this is the hobby box format. As you can see, you get two mini boxes inside. We got Key Brian Hayes and looks like Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Oh, it is Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. And everybody knows he got traded, so he's not a Blue Jay anymore, but he is one of the top prospects. So he already had his first card. We'll be seeing, uh, we'll be seeing some of the guys who had firsts in the Bowman We'll just see their regular Chrome prospect cards. And Bowman Chrome is always a highly desirable product, really sought after. And sometimes it takes a while for the prospects to make a name for themselves or to, to get called up because a lot of times they're young international prospects. Uh, one of the good things about Bowman Chrome is that you get your rookies from whatever season it is and you get them in a Chrome format. And these, these can be some of the most valuable rookie cards that you can get. Uh, usually it's like Bowman Chrome and Topps Chrome are some of the most desirable rookies. And, you know, the checklist is, is usually really good. It's got, as far as, it's got first prospects. It's got regular prospect cards. It's got rookies. And it's got a guaranteed auto in each one of the mini boxes. So... Actually, I got to do the good luck thing. I always forget on my own breaks to do the good luck thing. So we're going to use Clayton Claus and Bud Selig. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bud Selig. Why? Because I got two golds numbered to 50. And his hairpiece is really good at absorbing bad luck. So we're going to use a cycle of Seligs. It works on two different levels. We're going to sweep away the bad... Get all the gross bad luck out of there. And Clayton is going to infuse some of his good vibes into the boxes. He's just going to sit right there for a while. So we're looking for some big prospects. Christian Hernandez, Carlos Colomenares, Christian Santana, Victor Acosta, Shailen Polanco, to name a few. All those guys I just mentioned are like 17 years old. And most of them are decent prospects in the team system but they're so young they're not going to be highly ranked in the system so man these little mini boxes you could throw these things up against a brick wall and the packs are still going to be good on the inside the cards i actually made a video about that with the bowman chrome actually i think it was bowman's best it's all it's all the same bowman chrome bowman's best Top's finest. They have these little mini boxes inside. And just change this music. It's out of control. So here's the pack odds, in case you're interested. I always am. We're looking for refractors, fuchsia, fuchsias, purples, blues, all that good stuff. And right down below is the no purchase necessary if that's your bag. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. Pack number one. And there's our guy, Hedbert. So yeah, Edbert Perez is one of the best prospects in the Brewers organization. He's currently number five overall. He's 18 and he batted 333, 394, 575 for his triple slash in the minors. So that's a guy we're definitely looking for. He had his first autos in Bowman, but that's a cool one, Nolan Gorman summer camp. Yeah, it looks like we got some QC issues right off the bat. Quality control looks really thin on the left, pretty thick on the right. Hopefully that's not a continuing theme. There he is. Doesn't have his his first on there, which I wonder if that's an error. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. But that's one of the dudes we're looking for. Hook me up with a like and a subscribe if you're new around here. We have all kinds of baseball content. Always doing live streams, always opening packs and boxes and all kinds of good stuff. 
talking about what cards are best. Controversial baseball takes. Gabriel Arez for the Indians. That's a nice looking parallel. I like the colors there. Not parallel, insert. Nick Gonzalez. So anyway, there's a few different formats. There's a Wander Prospect card still. So that's probably his last Prospect card because he's in the bigs and he is legit. There's a first, Kristen Santana. All right, that is a Detroit Tiger. And this is one of the top guys you're looking for. He's 17 years old. So I'm definitely putting that in Luis Medina. Definitely putting that in the good card pile. A lot of people wonder what to do with their firsts. I say at least sleeve up all your firsts. If it's one of the top guys, you definitely want to top load them. One of the one of the better prospects you're looking for. But put all your firsts in a soft sleeve at the very least. The position players are the most important. The pitchers secondary. Jordan Walker. That dude has made a name for himself. We got Tatis Chrome. And it looks like most of these are off center. Rookie of the year, Randy. 40 man futures. Yeah, Jordan Walker. We just pulled a huge Sapphire first of his the other day. Uh, parallel. So there's three different formats, probably four, but there's at least three different hobby formats. We got, we've got the, the hobby version, which is what we're opening right now. Then we've got the HTA, which is three guaranteed on-card autos. That format, they're all about the same price. And we've got the light, which is kind of like hobby, but it's got, it's got less cards and there's no guaranteed autographs, but there are guaranteed black and white mini diamond parallels. Cohen Moreno. Okay, this dude's a pitcher. I'm just scanning my sheet right now to see if I see him. And I'm not really seeing him. Let's get a little bit of info on this guy. So he's young, about 20 years old, 6'2", number 18 Cubs prospect, taken in the fifth round. So he's a fifth rounder, 147th overall. Pitcher auto. Not my favorite but it'll have to do. Max Meyer and Robert Hassel. Let's get a parallel. I love the parallels. Want to get a big one. Big numbered card. Not the one I was looking for. Yelich. So, you know, you're looking for the prospect, the first parallels. Like this is a Yelich parallel to 499. Not really a huge card, but we'll put it in the good card pile for sure. There's a Jordan Walker, Patrick Bailey, a couple big names. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to get any of this and what format you prefer. I'm pretty sure they'll have a, a mega box again this year. I don't know why they wouldn't, which is a retail version. And in the past, they never had retail versions of this, but last year they did. And it was an okay open. There were a lot of good rookies that you could pull out of there, but no guaranteed autographs. Carlson rookie. That's good. That's going in the good card pile. We got a insert 40 man futures. All right. So mini box number one. I don't know. Clayton's been sitting on that one for a while. So maybe he infused some of his good vibes and we got to use Billy. For this one. Guarantee one chrome autograph per mini box. It's a nice bright box at least. Whatever that's worth. We're gonna be doing some mixers and some some breaks of this stuff coming up this week. So stay tuned. Check me out on Twitch. Facebook, Twitter. All of that nonsense stuff. Dr. Sticks rookie. And there's a Blaze. So here's the second Blaze Jordan card. He had his first in Bowman. I like Blaze. Starlin Aguilar. 
Where is he? There he is. Mariners. Number 14 Mariners prospect. Triple slash 243, 361, 368. Whoa, he's a youngin'. This dude is 17 and he joined the Mariners on the first day, international signing period, rated as a number 24. Early comps to Raphael Devers. Whoa. I'm going to top load that one. There are a ton of really young prospects in this, you guys. I have a feeling this product is going to age very well. I don't know. I'm going to put him on a stand. And Malcolm Nunez. That guy doesn't really ring a bell. In the prospect pile. Malcolm Nunez. He is the number nine prospect in the team. He's at high A, batting about 257. All right, finally, a colorful parallel. Bobby Dalbeck, Ryan Jeffers. Put him in a rookie pile. Oh, this is a good one. All right, a rookie parallel. It is, it's looking pretty centered too compared to a lot of the other stuff. I mean, it's a little heavy on the bottom and the left, just a tick. But that's cool. Magenta Dylan Carlson, rookie to 299. I'll take that. Sure. We got one more auto coming out of here. Mike Trout, always good. Good card pile. Joe Adele, rookie, yes. And another pitcher first. Sweet. Number 11, Colorado prospect. Nothing better than getting a pitching prospect from Colorado. You just got to hope they get traded to, I don't know, like the Dodgers or something like that. Because it's not easy pitching in Colorado. Hector, are you on my list even? I don't think so. Another parallel? Or no, it's an insert. Garrett Mitchell. That looks like a parallel. Good. Did we only get one? I think we only got one parallel out of that first box. So it's a green shimmer. Come on, baby. Be a first, at least. No, not going to be. Okay. Jeter Downs. Are you even numbered? No, you're not, are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. Look, at you couldn't even see it with his glove until you... Get it in the right light. 53 of 99. Jeter Downs. I think they had like purple parallels kind of like this shimmer that, that were not numbered at one point. If I remember correctly. There's Riley. Hopefully we see him next year. Up in the bigs. Lord knows the Tigers need some help. Although they did overperform this year. I'll give them some credit. Looks like we have an Atomic. Corbin Carroll. Too bad he got hurt. Atomic. First. Red Sox. You got three autos? All right. Ended up being a good box. Josh Winkowski, three pitcher autos, but a bonus. Ever heard of him? Kind of old. Yeah, but hey, I'll take it. Sweet. Josh, my man. It's, it's a good day when you get a bonus auto. Am I right? Any Boston fans in the house? 
Alexander Mojica. Is he on the list? <laughs> Uh, I don't see him. It's pretty young. He is the number 19 prospect in the pirate system. Oh, there's a lot of pirates in here. Oh, yeah, he, okay, here, I see him now. This dude, yeah, uh, 19 years old. Low A ball, batted 214, 327, 351. Uh, high, high walk rate what we got out of him and there's a maximal so there it is 2021 bowman chrome i'm looking forward to opening up some more i'm definitely going to get a light box for myself i might even open up an hta might even open up a couple more i've got high hopes for, for this product and maybe it might end up even being better than regular bowman a lot of times bowman chrome take like i said earlier it takes some time for the prospects because they're so young international prospects to to make their way up to the bigs so this is going to be something that probably ages over time gets better and better and better if you're looking for something to potentially hold on to as a a medium term investment you know maybe like three four five years even to really fully see its value bowman chrome is a good one 2021 bowman chrome's got a bunch of great young prospects so all in all, I like it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later.